Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to find cross-site scripting or what I think is the easiest or best way to look for cross-site scripting. I'm sure there are a bunch of methods and how to look for cross-site scripting, but this is how I do it. So let's go ahead and check this out. So we're gonna look at two different labs on cross-site scripting. One, we'll do this one right here because it's super simple and I'm gonna show you how I look for it and then I'm gonna do this one down here, which is a little more difficult, but still nonetheless, it's still pretty easy. So we'll get, go ahead and and open up that lab we'll access the lab right here and this is going to go ahead and load and it has loaded finally so you'll have this search bar right here and i like to open up burp and go ahead and turn the proxy on and just type in something just like this and hit search and so we have our search right here i think it's a control r since this to repeater and we can shut that off and now if we hit send we can see our request i come to this little search bar down here and i type in something and it's going to tell you inside of this h1 tag what we type in right here is going to show up so we can type in um like something one and send this and you're going to be able to see that something one pops in right here inside this html which this is going to be super simple to inject into because you're just inside this h1 tag right here you don't even have to break out of anything so we can go ahead and do this from here you can type out just a normal script tag with the alert one and then we can close this off move my mouse just like this and now if we send this, this should send to the back end and just say should pop up with our solved lab right here. So we can send this and it changes to solve, but that doesn't really help us. So if I do something like this, um, I like to see it over here, but what I usually would do is I would take this right here and I'd come back to my proxy. I would turn the interceptor on and I would send something like this over here. So the way I can see exactly what is happening Let's send this to repeater and turn that off. But then also you're gonna be able to see this pop over here. So there is another way to look at this, but I think burp is probably the easiest way to see this. So if we send this and then we type our payload in right here, you're gonna be able to see right here. So we could just type in alert down at the bottom and you can see your script tags. Now this is gonna be really important in the next one and I'm gonna show you why. It matters that we can find it inside of the HTML because sometimes we're gonna to need to break this and it's gonna take some debugging. Some people I know like to do this with the inspect tools over here. So you'd open this up and find where you're searching for over here. But I find it easier to look inside of Burp. So let's go ahead and come back over here to our options and we'll go to this one right here and I, I think this one's going to be a little easier to understand why i look in burp specifically because we're going to have to break the html in order to get this to inject for us okay so we're brought back to the same search bar and what we can do is just like we did before we can just say something come back to our proxy turn it on search it and we can send this to repeater turn the interceptor off and we're going to want to look at this request we want to know where our word search that we inserted is at so we can type in something and we can see that it is right here it's still inside the h1 I'd, and let's see what happens if we add in some special characters like this just throw some special characters in there and see if it it does it changes those for us so we're not able to break the html right here so this is something that you're going to want to do when you're looking for cross-site scripting is put in some special characters so you know what you can use and what you can't and i'm sure you can go out to github and pull open a github page it's going to, just going to have the special characters in here so what is happening is we're able to put this in here it is going to change our special characters so that we can't break like we were right here and then down here, it looks like our query is being changed into a function. So this is going to be our query. And we're going to see if we can inject right here. So we have this JavaScript. So we got this document dot right, and it's going to go to this image source. We are going to be breaking this query right here. So you can see we're inside of an image tag and our query is right here. We have a source and we have a double quote a single quote and then there's another double quote over here so if our query comes in right here we can break this with a double quote so let's see what happens if we just go and type in a double quote 
and we'll just send this and then go back and look and see what happens. Let's try and close off that image tag because that doesn't look any different. We have our quotes right here. So we should be able to do a double quote and then a single and then close off this image tag inside this query right here. And then we should be able to put in a payload. So we should be able to use the same payload that we did before. So script alert one, and then we can close this off like this and send it. See what happens it says not solved over there. Let's copy this and see what happens if we take this over here and we hit search it tells us that it does not solve and after looking at this i can see we have a typo so let's come back over here let's actually copy this and paste it back in here because we see something popping up down here so we know that our tags have a change and i'll show you what i mean so if we come in here and we close off what we saw previously with this image tag right here we close this image tag off and then we can put something in here and it is showing up down here. So we know that we're able to break out of that image tag because the HTML shows up. So now we can close, break out of the image tag. We'll just use this and we'll come over here and spell this right and hit search and it should work for us and it does. So this is how you would solve something where you're able to look at this right here and see we have a double quote right here and we're able to use our query and break out of this and close off this image tag. And then we can see that the HTML shows up on the page right here. And then this closing tag right here is going to be this right here because we don't actually close out of that. Okay, so that is one way to solve this challenge, but there's other ways. So if you're gonna practice cross-site scripting, see if you can get other payloads to work. So we can just copy this right here. And actually what we'll do is we'll use like, we'll say image and then we'll say like a source equals, um, you can put anything in here because it's not gonna work, anything just like this. And then we want to say on error because this isn't gonna work. So we're gonna say on error and we want it to do something and we want it to alert one just like this, just like we were before. And let's see if I can close that, if this works here for us, I'm gonna copy it. I guess it didn't have to because it'll pop up up here. And that works as well. So you can play around with how to get cross-site scripting to work. And I actually think the solution, I don't actually remember, um, wants us to run this right here. So S SVG file and then on air because it's not gonna load. And then you can, so you could try things like this. I, I would recommend going to um, Google and just saying GitHub and then XSS payloads just like this. And you can come out to Google and click on some of these cross-site scripting payloads and play around with these and see if you can get them to work. And if you are good at finding cross-site scripting or maybe you found a few cross-site scripting, you can let the rest of us know how you found those in the comments below. Thanks for watching.